Well, hello everybody. In the previous video, we've seen how to invite a user on a project. Now, let's see how to give him permissions on that project. So first, we're going to look for the project we actually want to go on, and then we'll click on the little cog right here to get inside of the project's edition page. Then, we'll go to the private sharing and permission tab. On the left, you'll find the card that we used in the last video, and now we'll see the one on the right. The system is basically the same, you're going to move persons from right to left to grant them or remove them a role. The role is going to be decided by the select that you have up there. So basically, when you click on a role, you're going to be able to see everybody who has that role on the right, and everybody who doesn't have that role on the left. So here I can see that all of the persons that are invited inside of the project have the project's administrator role. And don't forget, once you move a user from the right to the left, click validate to confirm the fact that you don't want him to have that role anymore or that you do want him to have that role. Now let's talk about the different roles. So basically the project administrator is going to be able to do everything on the project. It's just like if he had created it. The second one is the download source file role. Now that's going to allow the person who has that permission to download the original files that were uploaded to the project. The members administrator is going to be able to invite new persons on the project as well as give them permissions. The export zones permission is going to allow the person who has that to drop some boxes inside of the viewer and export every point that is in the box. Then we have the file importation role that's basically going to allow the person who has that to add new data to the project. Spend tokens is going to allow you to use some specific tools that need tokens to be used. Here I'm talking about exporting author images or for example comparing a point cloud with a 3D model. Here we have the manage annotation permission that's going to allow the users to create new annotations as well as modify old annotations and they'll be able to see the page right here on the left. More information about that down below as you'll find articles in the description. Finally the delivery tracking permission. Now that's only useful if your company uses the delivery node system so if you want to learn more about the delivery node system again link down below in the description.